legacy continues. Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins the 46th Daytona 500. Dale Earnhardt Jr. will once again climb out of his victorious Budweiser Chevrolet. Junior Nation beside themselves. Could it be Junior's going back to victory lane? Dale Earnhardt Jr. does it tonight. And boy, the crowd is going crazy. That nationwide win last year in Daytona was very emotional, but it might never have happened without Junior's sister, Kelly. She's co-owner and general manager of Junior Motorsports, manages Dale's many other endeavors, serving on the board of directors for the Dale Junior Foundation and the Blue Harbor Bank. Throughout Junior's career, wins and losses, ups and downs, Kelly has been there as a partner and a true friend. Now, I remember Dale Earnhardt Jr. and his older sister, Kelly, as teenagers, throwing a football in the grassy infield at Martinsville. They've always been close and, like their dad, tough-minded, outspoken, and hardworking. Kelly, as you know, the general manager there at Junior Motorsports, but she's also a wife and a mother. This past Sunday, she invited Danielle Trotta to her home to check out a typical race day with her family. Okay, well, pigtails, I need more concentration from you. Well, y'all know Carson's a sore loser. Come on. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> Tell me you want to show him something. These are all my trophies from when I raced. This was my first one. This was her second one. This is my second one. And this is her third one. This is my third one. I like this one because it's got pink flames. It's my favorite one. So I usually do cook for the race. We either do appetizers or grilling in the summer. You got hair all over. Mama, what you She'll wear hair nets. <laughs> She'll wear hair nets. Carson and Kennedy, one of you can grab the salt, one of you can grab the pepper, and you can I want ground. The salt. I'm the salt. They're on the second row. Smells good, Mom. We watch the race every time the race is on, don't we? Who's our favorite driver? I don't know. Oh. Are you for real? Who gives you candy? Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon? <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't even ever run into Jeff Gordon, you goob. <laughs> There's Uncle Jim Jim. His hair looks good today. He said something to me. I said, do you feel like this is going to be a big year for you? And pivotal year and he said well I'm just trying to find my place here just the magnitude that people put on how he performs and what he does it's just never ending you know it's never enough it's never good enough it's never what they expect <laughs> and I mean he's just one of 43 people out there trying to you know do his job and some days you're gonna win some days you're gonna lose and see I mean he's running right there with Jimmy Johnson is anybody Talking about, oh my gosh, Jimmy Johnson's running 25th. His fans are really loyal. They're awesome. I mean, they're behind him 100%. And the media is always trying to figure out why. You know, because everybody thinks that you want to just jump on the bandwagon of whoever's winning or whoever's doing good. But that's not, you know, that's not our case with our fans. They'll stick with you. Do you feel like this? Is, he's comfortable yet? I mean, Hendrix is such a big place. Lots of people, lots of employees, and Dale's very hard on himself. And so he, you know, when he isn't doing good, he thinks that he's letting everybody else down, and then it's hard for him to think that those same people are behind him. Uh, the car was doing okay on the two turns, just kind of hung up behind the 27 there. One thing I noticed with Dale and Steve versus Dale and Lance is it seems like Dale is willing to give a lot more feedback you know and I don't know if that's just a different comfortableness that he has with Steve that but he just seems like he really is gives a lot more details and all than he did last year about what his car is doing Take it up, come on, come on, low, 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 both sides, both sides, come on, come on, come on, come on, good job. Oh, and they all start slowing up, and they're just all, he barely, oh, 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 yeah, he said he hit him with the barely, whew, that was, a that was close, that could end our day right there. And you are five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, four, five. Did you get emotional when you were watching the specials about your dad? No, I really didn't. And Carson kept looking. She's like, is that going to make you cry? Is that not going to make you cry? But um, I just, I developed 
an attitude about it a couple weeks beforehand that was just like, I'm going to be positive. I want to celebrate. I want to laugh. I want to think about the memories. But it's still, you know, it can get to me when you, when I see my dad like talking and really see him, you know, coming out. Um, it's easier to listen to other people tell stories about him and laugh and, you know, that kind of thing than to watch him himself. Come on, Dale. Let's get a top ten. What's a good day for him, Kelly? I'd say top ten. I mean, I'd say today's a good day to overcome everything he's come. And, and yeah. Bad luck and come from 35th, running 11th. This is good for Jeff and his whole new Drive for Hunger sponsor and all that. He went to 10th? Good. Hot dog. Good job, Jeff. <laughs> so he finished what, 10th? 10th. We can take a top 10 and you can put it in a little, little marker when they say wins, top fives, and top 10s. Carson, your Uncle Junior finished 10th.